Today, we will have a brief introduction of Growa Single Phase Energy Storage System installation with a new Arc Lithium battery. The core parts of the whole energy storage system are SPH6000 Single Phase Hybrid Inverter and Arc LV Battery System. There are six models in SPH series, covering the AC power from 3 kW to 6 kW. The lithium battery we used in this video is Arc LV Battery System. Arc battery uses the material of cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate to guarantee its excellent safety. Offering flexible capacity options for customers, each battery module is 2.56 kWh, maximum 10 units in parallel, reaching 25.6 kWh. The whole system is for easy installation with modular and stacked design. Support remote firmware upgrade to save maintenance fee on site. Unpack the battery package and there are some parts inside. There are ARC 2.5 liters AI battery, power and communication cables, wall bracket, user manual and a warranty card. The PCS port is used to communicate with hybrid inverter. The link in and link out port is for battery pack in parallel communication. The battery negative terminal and the positive terminal. Power button. The LED light shows the SOC state of charge of the battery system. The USB interface for quick firmware upgrade on site. The grounding point. The ARC battery base is recommended when more than four battery packs are stacked. An extra ARC 2.5 liters A1 cable accessory is required including power and communication cables, which is used for connection between the ARC battery system and the hybrid inverter. Adjust the screws of the arc battery base to ensure it on the floor horizontally. Put the battery base on the floor. Stack one arc battery pack on the base. Remember to remove the partial top cover of the battery pack. Then stack the second and third arc battery pack. Install the safety pot in the final arc battery pack. Notice, the safety pot needs to be installed at the top battery. However, once the number of the battery pack is higher than seven, one more safety pot should be installed in the middle battery. Stack the final battery pack. Finally, fasten the safety pot of the battery system to the wall. And please don't remove the partial top cover of the final battery pack. Connect the metal connectors between battery packs. Make sure all the connectors on both sides of the ARC battery are well connected. Remove all the dustproof cover attached to the battery pack. Connect the ground cable between battery packs. Connect the positive and negative power cable between all the battery packs. Connect the communication cable from the link out port of the top battery pack to the link in port of the next battery pack and connect all of them one by one. Power and communication cables from the hybrid inverter need to go through the rubber cover. Then connect the negative power cable to the BAT minus port of the bottom battery pack. Connect the positive power cable to the BAT plus port of the top battery pack and connect the communication cable to the PCS port of the top battery pack. Finally, put the rubber cover to the partial top cover. Install the dustproof covers back to the floating terminals. Please remember to connect the ground cable made by the installer from the whole arc battery system to the earth point. Notice. If the breaker between the battery and hybrid inverter is required, we recommend using the DC breaker with a rated working voltage greater than 80 volts and a working current greater than 125 ampere.
For floor installation with base, the maximum stack number of the battery is 10. However, if the battery number is greater than 6, we recommend stacking them in two lines. An extra ARC 2.5L A1 parallel cable accessory is required, and follow the dynamic diagram to connect the ARC battery system. After all the installation are finished, here are the steps to power on the whole system. Turn on the AC breaker between the inverter and grid. Turn on the DC breaker of solar input and the PV switch of the inverter. Turn on the DC breaker for the battery system. Press the power button of any battery pack for 3 hours to power on the battery system. And the SOC indicator will flicker for a short time and keep on always finally. After the system was powered on, if PV, grid and a battery are available, the system will work on normal mode. When the SPH is on the normal mode, the screen shows normal and LED is green. If SPH didn't enter normal mode successfully, especially if the LED is red, please contact robot service engineer for help. Here is the final energy storage system including SPH 6000, ARC LV battery system, ATSS, AC breaker between inverter and grid, AC breaker for EPS output, smart meter, DC breaker for battery, PV breaker,